two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One. So my timing is a tad off. It's close. Okay, what did we do? We manipulated the servo code from the previous lesson. We just started adding on to that. Um, established our red and green LEDs. Uh, we decided to have it blink four times. So we took the time that it took the servo to move. So it's, it's doing 180 increments in 0.02 seconds. So we took that amount of time and divided it by eight to give us four blinks. Four on, four off and then green, four on, four off. So these two are moving independently. Um, the code runs through here and it switches it to the other core. So we have the lights running on one core and then the servo running on another core. Um, the thing that messed me up was I forgot to use this line to activate these other cores. But once I got that, then I could start tinkering, having both cores running. I thought for a little while maybe I could use an if statement if the servo position is increasing, then do red LED on. If the servo position is decreasing, then do the other light. Um, and do green on. Oh, but I didn't quite figure that out. That seemed a bit more difficult. So this is what I've got. Thank you. No, thank you for another great lesson, Paul. Really enjoyed it.